So Applied Medical Sciences, our slogan is basically fusing science with medicine. So in many ways, you learn a lot about the medical field, but it's related more to the scientific aspect of it rather than how you would apply it on a more practical level. So for example, this year we did the immune system, liver, the gut, the brain, lungs, heart, and you learned in depth a lot about those systems while still understanding and applying scientific viewpoints into the whole aspect. So it's definitely a very interesting course. To be honest, there's so many things that I like about my course, but um, my favorite would definitely be how active the learning is as opposed to, because I don't think I would be able to sit in a lecture for hours on end and have things, you know, be, like understand things to the full extent that I have done this year with active learning and uh, doing group projects and the storylines that we do and all of that. So I would definitely say that aspect of my course is definitely the, the thing I found my favorite. Yeah. So normally in an average weekday, I would wake up at around seven, uh, eat my breakfast. Um, and with our course, it's super innovative. So it, you, even though you have quite a lot of contact hours, most of the work you get is on Moodle and you have uh, at home lectures and we call them storylines that you watch. Um, for our course, specifically Applied Medical Sciences, they decided to make it a much more modern course and it's much more about active learning as opposed to passive learning where you like watch lectures hours on end. So we normally have lectures from, let's say, three hours of lectures and then the rest of the time you have to spend watching storylines and doing your own reading and we also have lots of uh, project-based work where you, for example, one of our projects was to design a new dark drug and you had one million dollars and you had to like find out how you would do that and all of that. So yeah, wake up, lectures, storylines, maybe do some extra work regarding projects we're doing, society or work and then sleep. I would definitely say that UCL is improving its facilities, like there's renovations all over the campus right now and um, like you can see like building sites everywhere right now um, and apart from that I would say like things like labs and stuff like that are definitely like up to par and I mean I've never had a proper lab like that before like I've never held a proper pipette in my life and I, like all these facilities like seem so modern and new to me um, but I, I go to a campus called the Royal Free it's a hospital and there it's like a, you're in a hospital environment so the facilities are quite limited uh, because it is in turn a hospital like it's more a hospital than a place for you to study um, but we can freely use the, all the facilities in Bloomsbury all the libraries are amazing and up, like open 24 7 so yeah so since our whole motto is fusing science with medicine our labs are very much uh, centered around both aspects of science and medicine. So some labs uh, we have where we learn how to use a respirometer or um, we learn how to use an ECG machine. And then other labs we had like how to use a pipette or um, you know basic scientific like basic things that most scientists should, should know. It's a new course so with any new thing there are some problems with organization and time planning and everything to do with that so I would say you have to be organized you have to not be afraid to ask um, you know if you, if you don't know something like where is this where are we doing the tutorial today just ask be a, like contact the people around you the staff around you um, and also when it comes to academics it's also a very academically based subject where you're doing a lot of work so it's also very important to be organized in that aspect so be organized kids so right now i have big dreams of being a graduate medic um, because after like starting this course and finding out more about the medical field um, like at first i did have 
like more options. I was thinking about maybe a researcher. A lot of people from my course um, start in biomedical sciences companies. Um, they go on to do PhDs in other scientifically related fields like cancer and stuff. Uh, but personally, I really found myself uh, like I found my true goal, which is to do graduate medicine. So that's probably what I'll specialize in in the future.